So this is the React Native framework. There are lots of stuff. Let's break it. We can break it to two layers. First layer is implemented in native on the Android side with Java, and on, on the iOS side with Objective-C. This layer is consists mostly from native models that are communicate with the Android SDK or with the iOS SDK. And they, uh, they supposed to implement some native functionality. For example, if we want to save something in the persistent storage of the mobile phone, we will use native model that is saving something to the SQL uh, Lite database inside the mobile phone. Above this layer, we have the JavaScript layer. This layer is exposing a unified API to, a, to the React Native developer. So our business logic of the React Native code is above this API. And there is a thin C++ uh, layer connecting between these two runtime environments, the native Java and Objective-C and the JavaScript. React Native out of the box not covers all the uh, native capabilities, not covers all the native SDK. But React Native is an extendable framework. We can add our own native models and, our, uh, ex and expose JavaScript API, so React Native developer will be able to invoke this API. Let's see how it works during installation and runtime. So our native code compiled uh, into binary files, the Java and the C++, like in no any normal native application. Our JavaScript is bundled with a Metro bundle. Maybe if you're coming from web, you are familiar with the Webpack. It's the same thing, but it's adjusted to the React Native needs. And eventually, we will have a big JavaScript, usually one big JavaScript file, minified and uh, optimized for the target uh, platform. All this packed inside to the APK, the executable file in Android. Uh, in this talk, I will mostly talk about Android because it's, the mo it's more interesting and there are more performance problems in Android. And I'm coming from Android, it's easy for me. And while we, when we install and run the application, the JavaScript part will run on the JavaScript virtual machine, and the native code will run on the native part of the OS, like any normal native application. Between these two parts, there is a React Native bridge, which is responsible to pass messages between the two sides. 